Removing things from Photoshop is getting easier and easier with Photoshop Beta's generative fill. But what you put back is the question. In this example, I'm going to remove the guy on the right and then put back the girl's arm waving hello. Let's check it out. Now in this example, the customer wanted the guy on the right here to be removed. So what we'll do is we'll go up here to our object selection tool. Let's grab him. See if we can grab his hat. If we zoom in, we should grab this black part here. We'll hit Q for quick mask. Grab your brush. And let's just paint in this part right here. So we can grab that as well. Hit Q. Control zero to zoom out. Now let's go up here and go to expand selection by five pixels. And what we'll do, go to general fill, remove, enter. And now the guy is gone, but of course her arm does not look natural. It's kind of flopping around here. So what we'll do, L for the lasso tool. Let's go around here, grab some of her shirt and her arm. And we'll type in waving hello, generate. Now we've got a copy of the guy's hand around an arm around the girl and the girl waving hello. Now, if you wish, create a stamp visible there. Now to finish off the pick, a little extra bonus here. Let's create a smart object and go into camera raw. What we'll do is we'll go out to our masks, select people, and we'll just go all people, create. Now what we'll do is we'll bring down the highlights a bit and we'll bring up the shadows so we can show everybody. We'll bring up our saturation by 20. Go down to effects and we'll dehaze a bit here. Hit okay. So now we can see everybody a little bit better. Good job. As you can see, with the right selection and the right wording, Generative Fill can put back the parts that are missing. If this video helped you at all, give me a like and subscribe. You won't break an AL. Leave me a comment. I'm Don from Photo 911.